Hey everyone, it's Ben with Playwell. So I'm actually making this video for my mom, who's been asking me recently about the movements of the moon. We all know that the moon has phases and goes from full moon down to a new moon and then back up again to a full moon. But the movements of the moon can be tricky. Sometimes it rises and sets at different times and can be visible in the nighttime sky and often in the daytime sky. So to help explain some of these movements, I made this little model. So let's take a closer look. So after a few modifications, this is the final model. We're not going to get too technical on how the mechanism works right now, but let's take a look at what these pieces signify and how they're moving around. The blue disc in the middle signifies the Earth, and you can see it rotating on its axis. And that gray hemisphere, that signifies the, the lit side of the moon. And you can see that it is revolving around the Earth. So if you imagine the sun over here on this side, you'll see that as the moon revolves around the earth, that lit side is always facing the sun. You'll also notice that the earth is rotating in the same direction as the moon is revolving around the earth. They're both going counterclockwise, but the earth is rotating much faster than the moon is revolving. Specifically, I work the gears out so that the earth makes 28 rotations in the same time that the moon makes one revolution, which is pretty close to a month. All right, so let's freeze it here for just a sec and remember the position of the moon all the way to the right. And now we'll start it off in a faster speed and we're gonna count how many times that Earth rotates, each one of those signifying a day. And after 28, after a month, the moon will make a complete revolution and end up where it started. So the next step is to replace planet Earth with this one. As the phone rotates on the mechanism, we'll be able to use the camera to see from the perspective of the Earth, the rising and setting of the moon, and its various phases. We'll now surround the mechanism with these four sky panels depicting sunrise, daytime, sunset, and nighttime. And here's the final setup from above, with the light side of the moon facing the sun. Now let's see the whole thing in action. So here's the model in action. We got the bird's eye view in the upper left hand corner. And in the main screen, we're looking at the sky from the point of view of the Earth. There's the moon as it's heading towards full moon. And it's if you're laying on your back with, on the ground looking at the sky with your head pointing north. Here's the sun coming, rising in the east, and setting in the west. So, as the moon approaches, I'm going to slow it down. I want you to notice, remember how the moon is revolving in the same direction as the Earth is rotating. So that means in our frame of reference from from the earth here it looks like the moon is moving through the sky from left to right but if you look closely you'll see the moon is actually moving from right to left on its path around the earth just moving very very slowly and it's almost like if you're looking out the window of a moving bus at a bicycle rider going the same direction as you are the biker seems to be moving backwards relative to you but it's really moving forwards at a much slower rate and the effect of this is that every night the moon is actually going to rise and set a little bit later than the night before. So as we come to full moon, as soon as we have our sunset, the full moon will rise, be in the sky during the night sky, and then it will set in the west right as the sun begins to rise in the east. So now let's look at the moon as it's waning or decreasing in size. So you'll see it rise in the east, kind of late in the evening sky, and it'll stay, remain in the sky basically in the early in the morning and then set before midday. And every night again, it's gonna rise and set a little bit later. You'll notice that the waning moon from the northern, from the perspective of the northern hemisphere, it looks like a letter C. So it would fit in your in your left hand. So if you see that crescent moon that fits in your left hand and you see it either late in the evening or early in the morning, you know it is a waning moon. So here we are approaching the new moon. During the new moon, as soon as you see the sun start to rise, the moon is actually rising with the sun in the east, traveling through the sky and then setting in the west with the sun. So you don't really see a new moon because of the brightness of the sun and because the shadow side of the moon is facing us. So now we're going to take a look at the waxing moon as it grows back to a full moon. So here we are in the middle of the day, 
Towards the end of the day, you might see a crescent moon rising in the east. And this one you can notice, you can hold it in your right hand, again from the northern hemisphere point of view. And it stays in the kind of late day sky and it would set in the west in the early evening. Every night getting a little bit bigger as it rises and sets a little bit later as it grows back towards a full moon. So mom, if you can hear me down there on Earth, I hope this helped a little bit. And everyone else watching, I hope this gave you a different perspective on the movements of the moon. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to play well and see you next time.